Hey everyone, it's Matthew J. Welcome back to my channel. And hey, if you're new here. So obviously I haven't posted any kind of life update or sit down video in fucking forever. And I have a lot to fill you in on. So let's get into it. Okay, I feel like I'm not the only one who feels this way. But lately for me, the internet just isn't, it just isn't what it used to be. Like, remember when it was fun? I feel like everything is taken out of context and just blown out of proportion. Like, I felt like I really couldn't say anything without offending someone. And it's at the point where people will take one time that you misspeak and use that to inform everything that they think that they know about you. I feel like being fake is so normal now that anybody being real or standing by whatever opinion they have is honestly made to be a bitch and that's part of why i disappeared for months and was only posting here and there like even if i would at all but aside from that i've really kind of been turning over a new leaf like okay if you knew me even three years ago i was just very agreeable and very much a people pleaser I wouldn't even speak up for myself or anything. But something that I'm realizing now that I am doing that is that because I was so soft-spoken and just go with the flow, it, sh it definitely could be shocking for people. And me being in a place where I have self-respect now, it definitely is affecting a lot of my relationships and not in a good way. Isn't that wild though? Like not tolerating certain things. Like, I, f I feel like there's consequences for that, which is something that I definitely didn't expect. But I feel like at the same time, it's also important for me to find balance with that. And like, I'm never gonna cut someone out or pop the fuck off just to get a point across. But because I'm not budging on the things that are important to me, it's making me kind of see what people expected from me. I'm just not willing to be a punching bag for people or a doormat for people to walk all over. And recently, I've connected with a lot of people who have kind of done the same thing. And it's nice to be around people who understand where I'm coming from with that and, and have been in similar situations. Actually, I was on FaceTime with one of my friends the other day, and we were just talking about family dynamics and that kind of thing. And that convo was so therapeutic, honestly. Like, I'm the type of person that I hate small talk. I don't talk about the weather or how work was today. Like, if we're going to have a conversation, I feel like let's really get into it, you know? And to be fair, though, I mean, not everyone is like that. But finding people that are is always something that I'm kind of on the lookout for. Now I'm past the point of wanting to maintain surface level relationships where I can't really talk about what's going on, where I can't you know, be real about certain situations. I just don't want to feel like I have to keep it light and fun. Like, to me, that almost is like a fair weather friendship. And lately, since I don't have a whole lot of drama going on, I'm really the most focused and inspired creatively that I've been ever. I really feel like I'm getting to the point where I'm reaching my full potential. I'm just like, and I'm just, you know, waking up excited for the day and ready to get shit done. And especially with how 2020 and 2021 was, I mean, it definitely was a lot for me. And I, like a lot of people, I feel like I got stuck kind of in a negative place and was really stuck in it, you know? But I feel like now I'm getting back to me and I'm really posting what I want to post. And that's part of what this project is for me. I'm just excited to see where I am a year from now. Yeah. And a lot of the people in my life and just even like my followers, I'm seeing people getting back to life and having fun and going out again. And that's something that I'm doing. At this point, it's well-deserved for everybody. I'm also excited to announce that I will be having a few guest hosts come on and share their thoughts and opinions on things. And um, I'm excited for you to meet those people. 
So I think that is where I'm going to leave it for today. Thank you so much for listening. And make sure to tune in for new episodes Sundays at noon Eastern. And if you have any ideas of things you think should be discussed in this space particularly, definitely feel free to let me know in the comments. It's really important to me that with this project, I am creating a safe space for people to have discussions that are harder to talk about or address things that, you know, people might shy away from because I feel like it's so scary now to really talk about shit. All right, I'm going to sign off for now. Love you guys. See you in the next one.